Hello everyone. I don't actually want to tell you about quantum teleportation. I just want to show you how you can record your own lectures and actually give live lectures using a video that looks something like this. So I can actually edit and change this lecture as I go along. And I can do this in a recording such as the one here, or I can do this live by kind of streaming this picture into other software such as Zoom or Microsoft Teams. Now I'm using OneNote here. That's how I'm drawing my pictures by hand. I have my Surface Pen here and a Surface computer. Um, but you might be able to do this with uh, another computer or if you don't want to actually do the handwriting and you have some slides that you want to show, then you can also do it that way. The most important tool you'll need is a software called OBS Studio, so obsproject.com. It's free and open source, so you can download that and install it. Once you do, you'll get something that looks like this. Okay, so sorry about the um, uh, multiple infinite Chris's there, but I need to show you uh, what's happening on my screen because I'm doing this all in one take. So this is the most important thing that I want you to take away from this is that you can do all of this without any editing whatsoever. It can all happen on screen. So let's um, step back a little bit. So uh, on the left hand side is what I'm about to uh, show you on screen. I'll get rid of the chroma key and now you see that this is the raw kind of footage. It's not exactly raw. It comes from another program called uh, DroidCam. So if your computer webcam isn't that great, then you can actually use your mobile phone as a webcam. Those typically have much better cameras. So I have a Google phone and so it's Android and I can install some free software or pay a small amount for the ad free version. And that will allow me to stream by USB the um, my camera phone. So I have this this here and then in OBS Studio I import that um, that feed uh, into OBS Studio. You'll also see that I also have uh, what, what I've named Snowball here and that's just a Snowball microphone. Okay so the the video, setting up the video is, is one thing but the actual equipment I think I've learned is uh, is the thing that makes it actually um, look and sound quite nice. So I have this, the Snowball microphone and I'm using my smartphone camera with a uh, droid cam. Um, I think it also works on uh, iPhone. But you'll also notice that the what's behind me is a uh, green. So there's a green screen taped to the wall behind me and this all works. The most important thing which I'm going to show you right now is uh, the fact that I have some very, very bright lights. So backlight and two uh, bright LED bulbs. Okay, so the lights are key to making it all work. So that's how we can get the nice video that you see here. We can get rid of the green by adding a chroma key. OBS Studio does a very excellent job. All the default settings work perfectly as you can see. Now I am using a, some other additional elements here. So I have some scenes set up. This is the current scene and what you can see is that I have my camera, my display, so I'm showing you my computer screen. Um, and I have uh, this other image here that I've added to it. So that's added on. And then I have just a white background that I've added here as well. Okay, so you can add all of these things to your scene and place them however you want them. And that is what we'll um, show in the actual program. Okay, so let's move that back over here. Uh, one other thing I'll note uh, because I promised that you wouldn't need to do any editing is that you can go to um, your YouTube studio or you can find some other way to find royalty free music and you can 
in fact, um, download um, some some music, and that's being captured by the desktop audio. So gonna, let's make it give it a nice uh, nice volume there, nice background music volume. Um, download that. Play it on loop, stop it over here. Ah, and there we have our nice background music. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, once you stop the video, then you have your, your whole video and you can upload it straight to YouTube after your lecture without doing any editing whatsoever. So I hope this was helpful.